Hello there and welcome to Celebration Kids. We're so excited you're here with us today. I'm Pastor Robbie. And I'm Miss Nicole. And we have an awesome morning ready for you guys, don't we? We sure do. It's gonna be full of singing. And some screaming. And some shouting. And even some dancing. And of course, Another adventure in God's big story, the Bible. I am so excited for this. Uh, we're gonna discover something amazing today. Are you guys ready for this? Today, we're gonna discover that I should respect authority. Can you guys say that with me at home? Nice and loud. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, one, two, three. I, I should, should respect, respect authority. authority. Great job, guys. But. You know, you guys still look like you're waking up a little bit there. Any idea what to, could help them wake up? Um, well, I feel like they're too young for coffee. That's a bad idea. Maybe a game? That's a better idea. All right, do you guys like games? How about you, Miss Nicole? Do you like games? I love games. All right, well then let's head on over to game time. job guys didn't they do awesome they were fantastic all right so now that we're waking up a little bit i think we're ready to start our morning and do you know my favorite way to start the morning together by screaming nice and loud do you guys like to be loud how about you miss nicole i love to be loud all right so we're gonna start our morning off by shouting nice and loud our five values the five things we all need to live a life that celebrates jesus so if you know them say them nice and loud and if you don't, this is the perfect time to learn because they're gonna show up right down here on your screen. You guys ready? Are you ready, Miss Nicole? I am ready. All right, so our first value is love, love God. God. We love God because he first loved us. Our second value is love, love people. people. We love people because God loves all people. And our third value is do, do your, your best. best. We do our best because God deserves our best. Our fourth value is celebrate. celebrate because life with Jesus is always worth celebrating. And our fifth and final value is flow, flow with grace. grace. God gives us grace so we can show grace to others. Great job, guys. Didn't they do awesome? That was A plus. Now, if you guys are sitting down, you're going to want to jump up to your feet because we have a special visitor here to see you. Are you guys ready? It's our friend Pyro. Pyro. Th th that's your cue, buddy. Do you want me to go and look for him? Sure. All right. I'll wait here with you guys. I wonder where Pyro could be. Oh, there you are, Pyro. Everyone, it's our friend Pyro. Can you say hi to Pyro? Hey, do you guys remember Pyro's signature move? Can we do that together? Do you think that's a good idea, Pyro? All right, guys. So let's everyone get down nice and low. And then what we're gonna do is on the count of three, we're all gonna jump up and as loud as we can, we're gonna shout, let's celebrate. Ready? Are you ready, Pyro? All right, one, two, Three, let's celebrate. All right. Oh, you want them to be louder? I think so. You guys can be a lot louder. Let's try it again. Down nice and low. 
And on the count of three, we'll jump up and shout, let's celebrate. One, two, three, let's celebrate. Great job, guys. Oh, you've got to get going, Pyro. Aw, oh, everyone say bye to our friend Pyro. Bye, Pyro. Have fun. Guess what? Couldn't find Pyro? Yeah. Well, you just missed him. Ugh. You have really bad timing. I really do. Oh, well, at least you're in time for the best part of the morning. So I actually do have good timing. Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys all ready for another exciting adventure in God's big story, the Bible? Well, I'm ready. Are we looking at another of Paul's letters today? Yeah. And today we're going to look at the longest letter Paul wrote. What's it about? Well, today's letter is Paul's letter to the Romans. And it is a huge letter all about how to live a life as Jesus's people in this world. Wow, that does sound huge. It is. He talks about so many things. So is this going to be a long lesson? Well, no, because we're gonna look at one important thing that Paul teaches the church in Romans and in some of his other letters too, to respect authority. Respect authority? Yeah, exciting, right? I don't know about that. Well, here, instead of just talking about it, I think we should hand this over to Bucky and the team to explore because this will be the perfect way to learn our point for today, that I should respect authority. Can you guys say that with us at home? Nice and loud, are you ready? Are you ready, Miss Nicole? Yes. All right, one, two, three. I, I should, should respect, respect authority. authority. Great job. So let's hand, head over to see Bucky and the team. Okay, here we are. Like, it's a lot creepier than I thought it was. It's just an abandoned building. It's only as scary as you make it. All we have to do is find where the monster's heading. Oh, like in that monster? Ah! Want to try that net thing again? With pleasure. Now, let's see who this monster really is. Mr. Nesbitt? Why are you dressing up like a monster? <sighs> well, I wanted to buy that old field so I could turn it into some premium commercial real estate property. But the city was practically giving it away to that church for their little homeless shelter. And I would have gotten away with it too, if it weren't for you meddling kids. But like, isn't a homeless shelter more important than more shops, man? Oh, not to me. Real estate's about money. Shanna, call the police. There's more to life than looking out for yourself, Mr. Nesbitt. Oh, you'll understand when you're older, kids. You gotta look out for yourself. No one else is going to. Now, if you'll excuse me. How did he get out of the net? Like, I called the police and they said not to go any further into the building. It's on the verge of collapsing. But he's getting away. Like, what the police said, stay here. Let them take care of it. No, 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 they're not gonna get here in time. I need to do this myself. No, no, this is Hello? not good. What are we gonna do? Oh boy, that is not a good move. Definitely not. The police are on their way and they specifically told them not to go any further. I don't think Fred is thinking about the danger at all. This is the problem with kids these days and their total lack of respect for authority. Okay, Grandpa. He's right though. God wants us to respect authority because he put authority in our lives for a reason. Like Paul writes in Romans 13, that everyone submit to the governing of authorities since there is no authority except from God and the authorities that exist are instituted by God. So then the one who resists the authority is opposing God's command and those who oppose it will bring judgment on themselves. For rulers are not a terror to good conduct, but to bad. Do you want to be unafraid of the one in authority? 
Do what is good, and you will have its approval. For it is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, because it, because it does not carry the sword for no reason. For it is God's servant, an avenger that brings wrath on the one who does wrong. Therefore you must submit, not only because of wrath, but also because of your conscience. And for this reason you pay taxes, since the authorities are God's servants, continually attending to these tasks. Pay your obligations to everyone, taxes to those who owe taxes, tolls to the, those who owe tolls, respect to those you owe respect, and honor those you owe honor. Wait, so Jesus wants us to respect those in authority? Yep, because God gives us people in authority to help take care of us. Not just a government, but Jesus gives us leaders in the church too. Like Paul. Exactly, and like the pastors at our church. So, respecting authority is a good thing? Yeah, because Jesus gives us people in authority to help take care of us. Which is why the police didn't want Freda to go into the building. They didn't want her to get hurt. Like, man, I hope Freda's okay. I can hear police sirens. The police are almost here. Freda should be fine. <laughs> Oh no! Freda! Freda! Like, you're okay? Yeah, I realize you guys are right. Um, Jesus wanted me to listen to authority and they're just here to keep us safe. I'm so glad you're okay. Like, the police are here and we should go. Besides, the fair should be back on track soon. Alright, let's go again. Another mystery solved. Whoa. Really? Yep. So Jesus wants us to respect people in authority. Yeah. I know sometimes we don't want to listen to people in authority, like our teachers or our pastors or the government. Or our parents. Right. Or our parents. But Jesus actually gives us people in authority to help us. So that is why we should respect them? Well, that's part of the reason. But there is a much more important reason. And what is that reason? Because Jesus is king and he puts these people in place as his servants, whether they know it or not. So when we show respect to the people in authority, we're really showing respect to King Jesus. Well, that is a very important reason. Yep. And that's why I should respect authority. Can you guys say that with us at home one last time? Ready? Are you ready, Miss Nicole? Yes, I am. All right, guys, nice and loud. One, two, three. I, I should, should respect, respect authority. authority. So we just learned that I should respect authority. Now, this is good news. Do you know why it's so good? Well, it's because God is good and he loves me. Can you guys say that with me at home? Nice and loud, are you ready? All right, one, two, three. God is good and he loves me. It's so true. God is so good and he loves you so much. In fact, that's the whole reason that Jesus came. Jesus came to show us exactly who God is, that God is good and that he loves us. And then Jesus died on the cross to get rid of our sin. Sin is that selfish stuff inside of us that makes us live like we're our own God instead of trusting God. And it always leads to us hurting ourselves and the people around us. But the worst part is sin breaks our friendship with God. But Jesus, when he died on the cross, he got rid of that sin so that everyone who trusts in him could be friends with God again. And then Jesus even rose again from the dead with brand new life. So everyone who follows Jesus can have brand new life too. Life where God's own spirit comes to live inside of us, to lead us and guide us and be our friend. Now, some of you know this. Some of you, you follow Jesus, you get this already. But for some of you, this might be the first time you're hearing this. Or maybe you've heard it all before, but it's never made sense. But today, you want to trust Jesus. If that's you, then all you got to do is let God know. And you can pray along with me, either out loud or in your heart. It's just between God. But pray something like this. Father God, thank you so much for loving me so much that you sent Jesus to get rid of my sin. I turn from my sin and turn to you. Thank you for Jesus' resurrection that brings me brand new life. 
Thank you for your spirit that comes to live inside of me, to lead me and guide me and be my friend. Help me follow you. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer for the first time, congratulations. Make sure you let everyone know, let us know so we can celebrate with you and help you take some next steps. Now, in just a minute, we're all gonna celebrate Jesus together with some singing and dancing. But first, I would love to pray for you. Something I like to do when someone's praying for me is hold out my hands and close my eyes. It's just a way of reminding my mind and body that I'm listening quietly for what the Holy Spirit might wanna say through someone's prayers. Are you ready? Okay. Father, thank you so much for these kids. God, thank you that you love them so much. God, thank you that you give them lots of gifts. And God, that, that some of those gifts are people in authority. Jesus, thank you for giving them parents and grandparents and teachers and, and pastors and, um, and leadership in their life that help keep them safe and help them grow. Holy Spirit, help them to listen and respect their authority, knowing that they're respecting you. Help them to follow you into everything you have for them because you have good plans for these kids' lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Awesome, guys. Hop up to your feet and we're going to celebrate Jesus together with some singing and dancing. with us. This was so much fun. Yeah. 
and our morning might be almost done, but that does not mean the fun stops here. If you guys want more fun ways to keep exploring God's big story together at home with your family, make sure your parents are following us on the Celebration Kids Instagram page. We'll have lots of fun stuff there for you, and you can keep up on the adventures of Bucky, Bert, and Slim by checking out our midweek audio story, Academy of Adventure Bible Stories for Kids. I guess we've reached the end of our morning. So until we see you guys next, let's, let's celebrate. celebrate. <laughs> All of you say it one at a time so I can do that. Bloop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely gonna do that now. <laughs> Wait, no, no, let's say it all at once now. Bloop. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a harmony. That was so good. <laughs> Oh man, we should start our own bloop choir. We should. We, we were actually... Wait, this harmonized. Bloop! 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 Do it again, three. Wait, it was all for us. Three, two, one. Bloop! Smack pipes, they hurt. Thank you. <laughs> you angered the pipe! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> What do we do now? Oh, I guess. Oh, it's done. Yeah. Did somebody flush the toilet? Who would have flushed the toilet? Somebody here? It's like it's laughter you heard. <laughs> Wait, that'd be a really good sound effect, though. Hello. Well, let's see who our monster really is. Mr. Mr. Nesbitt? I forgot who was. <laughs> <laughs> is it Nesbitt? <laughs> Wait, it what's works. up there? That church for their little homeless shelter. So I forgot my line. <laughs> like, you're okay? <laughs> what I <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> You're like, I'm trying to read my line on here. <laughs> <laughs> I can <just>, Okay. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Is it my line? Wait. Oh. Wait. Oh. Wait. Oh, I was trying to find out where we were. <laughs> <laughs>